Hello, I'm Glenda Tan from Singapore and I participated in the Cold Space Rescue First Steps U19 category. I was first introduced to robotics after joining my school's robotics club in 2017 and it has become one of my favourite hobbies. I love the process of building and programming robots and have taken part in competitions such as the World Robotics Olympiad and RoboCup. These competitions have taught me many invaluable lessons. This year, I decided to participate in the iCo Challenge to broaden my knowledge in robotics. Besides that, I have never taken part in cold space before and wanted to apply what I know in this new competition. Here are some strategies that I use to optimize my robot's performance. First, I program my robot to move at a faster speed in areas without traps. Previously, my robot had traveled at a fixed speed for it to avoid the traps in time. However, I noticed that it was traveling too slowly in the areas without traps when it could actually move faster, and this ate into the time. By implementing this strategy, my robot had more time to collect and deposit the colored objects, and my score improved. Another strategy that I implemented was to adjust the deposit threshold based on the time. For the first four and a half minutes of the game, my robot would deposit at the deposit zone only if it had collected more than three objects. This is because I observed that the object my robot was lacking to make a complete set was often on the other side of the deposit zone. If the deposit threshold was zero, the robot would deposit everything it had collected and miss out on collecting the complete set. Thus, setting the deposit threshold at 3 will increase the chances of it depositing a complete set of red, cyan and black objects, in turn getting more bonus points. Finally, my robot would lower the deposit threshold to 0 in the last 30 seconds of the game. In this way, it could deposit all the objects it had collected before the game ends, further maximizing my score. Now, let's watch a video of my red robot in action! When my robot has only two objects, it will not deposit in the deposit zone. Instead, it will try to collect a combination of red, cyan and black objects. As my robot is in areas without traps, it moves at a faster speed. It will slow down now to avoid the nearby traps. The robot has collected 5 objects and 1 combination, so it can deposit and earn bonus points. I programmed my robot in C instead of using the graphical interface for more flexibility. Hence, I could write more complex functions and cases. It was very enjoyable to learn more about the C language. Besides that, I learned how to debug my robot using the various sensor values. This gave me a better understanding of how my robot was behaving. I think that SG5035 sharing video was very interesting as firstly, his strategy of always collecting double combinations was very innovative. This enabled him to get the maximum number of bonus points, greatly improving his score. I would like to learn how to implement this strategy. Secondly, his robot moved very efficiently. After collecting 6 objects, it will instantly move to the deposit zone and deposit the load. Thus, the robot had more time to collect and deposit objects. I would like to learn how he programmed it to move towards the deposit zone. I strongly believe that everybody should learn robotics and AI as they are very useful skills in this digital world. 
I can conduct robotics and AI workshops in school in order to expose my schoolmates to these technologies. For example, I can teach them how to build and program robots with LEGO EV3 to perform tasks like line tracking and color sensing. Besides that, I can volunteer at coding classes for underprivileged children and teach them Python, which is very useful for machine learning. In this way, they can be empowered to code. Finally, I can share with my friends and family interesting applications of robotics and AI. For instance, when we see cleaning robots at shopping malls, I can share with them the benefits of robots to pique their interest in these topics. To me, CoSpace has been an enjoyable and enriching learning experience. Through this competition, I have grown to be a more resilient person. Although my robot did not work well sometimes and I got frustrated, I learned to keep calm in the face of challenges and troubleshoot the problem. Finally, being able to debug these problems gave me a great sense of satisfaction. CoSpace has also helped me to develop my creative problem-solving skills. When programming the robot, I learned to think out of the box and come up with different ideas to maximize my robot score. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.